Hello everyone, welcome back. Kevin with Survivalist Boards. Guys and gals, y'all know the drill. If you're not a member of the forum, get over there and get signed up. Survivalist Boards is the largest prepping survivalist forum on the internet. Guys and gals, today we are taking a look at the Olight S1R Baton 2. I'm full disclosure reviewer. This flashlight was sent to me at little or no cost to myself. I think that makes it an ethical review. If you do, if a reviewer does not disclose their relationship with the company, it's not an ethical review. All right, guys and gals, so let's open this thing up. Take a look at it. I like that. It's a nice presentation. Pull out. Read me before you even <laughs> before you even take a look at the flashlight. Insulating film. All right. Owner's manual, very nice presentation, very nice. Got your carry pouch, very nice quality carry pouch. Olight has got a, a external charger. I've got another Olight flashlight that uh, has the same thing. Let's turn that over. Whoops. All right, that is nice. That is very, very nice. Lanyard is a little small. Little la lanyard holes about one sixteenth in diameter, which is about what I what I would expect. Let's see here. There's insulating film. Let's take that out. Oh. Wow, that's bright. I'm going to guess probably about two and a half ounces. Wow, less than two ounces. 1.75 ounces. 1.8 ounces. 1.8 ounces. We're going to throw in the carry strap. Now we're up to 1.95 ounces. Diameter is about 13 sixteenths. A little over 13 sixteenths to 7 eighths and about 2 and 7 sixteenths long. Alrighty, now it's time for the drop test. We're just going to turn the flashlight on and we're going to drop it several times. It says one, what, one and a half meters. We're holding it out of about four feet, dropping it on the ground. What we're doing is just looking to see if there's going to change any settings. Turn itself off, turn itself on, change the brightness settings. Nothing. It's good. That is outstanding, exactly as it should. Okay, there's turbo mode. I guess that's the moonlight mode. Double click it, and there's the turbo. All right, so we're going to get this thing fully charged, and then we're going to do some nighttime, nighttime test with it. All right, guys and gals, so what do I think about the Olight SR1? I think it's a mixed bag that I like its compactness. I like the brightness. Going, I've been using it here on the farm for the past week, going out and closing chickens up, walking around the chicken yard like I typically do on my flashlight reviews. But, but this is a ideal flashlight. Throw in a purse, throw in a backpack, throw in a little small backpack, go, go out on a hiking trip. Whether or not somebody thinks they're going to be back before dark on a hiking trip, they should carry a flashlight with them. So that is just basic, one of the basic gears of going out hiking, backpacking, stuff like that. Even if it's just a day hike. Oh, mosquitoes are bad today. I've been getting a lot of rain. They're tearing me up out here. All right, so I always carry some type of flashlight, even to go out on hunting. If you get out there to the, uh, to the stand before, dark, before daylight, carry a little flashlight. You wound the deer, have to track it at night. Get out of stand at night. I mean, there's just so many uses to a flashlight like this. But, but, the magnet on the base is a almost a deal breaker for me. Is that the magnet on the base, I mean, it's like that. I, I 
do not want this anywhere around my cell phone, my GPS, my cameras, nothing. It's been staying on top of the dog kennel. So I grab it on the way in and out of the house. This flashlight has so much potential, but this is my weld stencil. As some of y'all know, I work in a welding field. I'm a certified welder, and this is my stencil. The magnet on the base is almost a deal breaker for me. If they would supply another tail cap and give people the option to take this cow tail cap off, stick it on the refrigerator, forget about it, take a non-magnetic tail cap, put it on here, then you could take this thing out, take it out, put it in your backpack, throw it in your fanny pack, whatever, go out hunting trip with it, take it out to the duck blind, take it out to deer stand, take it turkey hunting, get out there before dark, use it finding your way to the stand. I mean, this little flashlight is wonderful. I really like it. I like the brightness, the cone, the lumens. I mean, there, there's very little that I can honestly, I dislike about this flashlight, except for the magnet. That's a deal breaker for me right there. Not being able to take this, toss it into the backpack next to my GPS, next to my cell phone, next to my cameras is a deal breaker. I can't have that. I cannot have a flashlight. Oh, mosquitoes are bad. Cannot have a flashlight that's going to mess with the mess with the electronics, possibly ruin the camera, ruin the phone because of the magnet. I just I can't have it, guys. So if you're looking for a flashlight that you could take, throw in the glove box, leave it there, not worry about it, have it in the console of your truck, carry it around your pocket, but don't carry it next in there with a the cell phone. That yeah, this is a nice light, but O light, I really really wish. Give people the option to take that magnet off, stick it on the refrigerator, forget about it, even throw it away, and use a non-magnetic tail cap. That's my only real complaint. Lanyard hole is typical for flashlights this size. It's about 332nd or so. You're not going to be able to use any 550 cord or trot line string or anything like that. You're going to have to use one of the factory provided lanyards. All right, guys and gals, score, oh man, even though I like the flashlight, the magnetic base and no option, no secondary base that we can take, and I mean, the base itself is built into the body. Take that apart. I'm going to give this about an eight, eight, eight out of 10, 80 out of 100, somewhere in there, just because this is a ideal flashlight. I like it, yet can't take it in on any hiking trips or nature photography trips or take it out to the deer stand and put it in my pack because of the magnet. All right, guys and gals, that's it for now. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you later.